hello guys so to solve this problem we will read the problem statement Dan is playing a video game in which his character competes in a hurdle race hurdles are varying heights and Dan has a magic Dan has maximum height he can jump there is a magic potion he can take that will increase his maximum height by one unit for each dose how many doses of potion must he take to able to jump all the hurdles so in a given array Dan can jump one unit height naturally so but the maximum height he has to jump is three so he must take two units of doses to jump across this hurdle so we have to just find out the difference between the maximum hurdle and the natural height he can jump so we will get the number of doses we want to compete this hurdle race so input format is n is a number of hurdles and k is maximum height dan can jump naturally so and the function description k an integer denoting the height dan can jump naturally and height and height an array of integers denoting the height of each hurdle so basically we have to found the maximum number in this array which is 6 and it contains 5 number of elements so here is 5 and 4 is the maximum height tan can jump so the output will be 6 minus 4 is equal to 2 so we need 2 number of magic potion doses to complete this race so we will edit our function so in this we have to find maximum hard so we will consider the height the first element of an array is maximum and then we will compare it with uh, all the elements using for loop so we will give if statement here if height of i is greater than max then max equal to height of i so by applying this statement we will get the maximum height of the hurdle that is the maximum number in our array so we need to count how many doses we need so this k indicates the natural jump of a dan so if k is less than max which is the maximum height of an hurdle then we have to return max minus k which will give the number of doses we should take to complete the race else we have to return zero so our function is completed we will run our code let's see if it works so first two test cases are passed we will submit our code so all the test cases have passed so our function is correct and if you want more videos on hacker and solutions please subscribe to my channel thank you